Okay, so here's the gold there. Let's try a different... Let's try a different color. Maybe we'll try something a little bit more bold, like this. The copper. More, more of a bold mustard yellow. It's a straight copper, I think. Wow, they're really quick to jump on this one. All right, you know what? That's kind of that's kind of bright and fun. I like that. And you can't go wrong with blue and gold. Come on. The con, the, the, yeah, the, everything is doing fine because I'm messing with the colors. Yeah, I like that. I like that. It's just bold enough. It still kind of matches the palette. It's not neon or anything crazy. Um, it's also not too muted where it looks like, I mean, this looks too similar to like the airflow tiles and I want things to stand out a little bit, so. Oh, hey, Draven! Let me see. Uh, it might be said, let there be light. And there was light. And it was shiny. And then we killed it. <laughs> because sometimes we have to make, we have to make the tough decisions. So copper. Let's go and put some copper everywhere. It's funny. It's like, oh, it's cheap. It's only five. And then we're going to go through all of it on wallpaper. What happened to all of my, <laughs> all my copper? Let's pause. Make it so we don't accidentally paint a bazillion of these things. Now, what kind of colors should we put in the mess hall? It's a very... The mess hall is pretty embarrassing, but the location is perfect, so I'm not too mad about it. This mess hall's embarrassing. <laughs> it's just not that, yeah. It's just not that great. Come on, finish it up. There. Now we're gonna have nice color scheme across the base there. <sighs> Spends hundreds and tons of steels making his asteroid look beautiful. Green for a mess hall. Yeah, what shade of green? Green, green, tan, beige. Is there a beige that's not so bold? Ooh, what about like a, what about a, is that a pink really? Is that like a pink? Or is that just because it's nighttime? Hmm. I think a bright, I think a brighter color would be good for the mess hall, something bright. Cause that's where they go, go to take a break or whatever. I don't know. Let me see. I think a kitchen, I think of like those like 50s to, to early 60s style, like super bright, bold colors. But not necessarily for a dining room. The turquoise looks good. I was thinking the turquoise for, is that glass? Oh boy, that might be, uh, hmm. Do I have that much glass? That turquoise will look good though. What does the plastic blue look like? Plastic blue. So the turquoise and the plastic blue are both really good. One of them's got to go for the kitchen though. Let's let's put um, let's use plastic because we have a lot of it. Let's see what that looks like. So we house flipper, Oxygen Clue Edition today. You see plastic, which we have so much of. Oh, ceramic. I didn't see that one. Oh yeah, I didn't put I didn't post the ceramic, did I? Because we didn't have a. Uh, they weren't, it wasn't accessible or something? I'm fairly sure we didn't have one up there. Plastic, which we have a lot of. Can I put some on top of here? I wonder if I should put like a stripe down the middle. It is the rec room. We can have some fun with that, I think. A couple of stripes or something. Let them work on that. We'll see what that looks like before we move on. Wait, hold on a second. So this is ceramic. Did I really not build a ceramic? It would be over here somewhere. Uh, aluminum, obsidian, gold. Yeah, I got some, did I not have the resources for it? Let me see, clay, wool for my, ceramic, oh, there's ceramic, okay, cool. Oh, ceramic is just a, um, kind of a gray or something, like a very, very light taupe or something. Okay, so let them work on that. That wallpaper does look good. Man, that was a great recommendation. Uh, we need plastic floors in other areas that we missed. You should go ahead and get that going. We got little spots of plastic that were missed. Plastic does the plastic tile. As I mentioned, we have an infinite supply of plastic. 
<laughs> Basically. Oh. Don't build on top of that. Then. Da, 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 da. What if we should do some across the floor here? What are the other rooms set up? Maybe we'll do a split. We'll do a little bit of both. Like this. There we go. That'll probably look good. This work area. This is fine. Good. Put them a lavish bar and a bathroom right next to it. Stripe the halls. Barely a diagonal into the bathroom. <laughs> like, uh... Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory or something. The illusion room. Ah, here we go. We're getting there. Actually, we are there. Uh, <laughs> it's all uh, polluted gas now. Polluted oxygen. Let's go ahead and do that. Turn that on. Try to get some of that out. And then what we'll do is, just to make sure that we're... I mean, this is pretty clean, man. I don't know if I'm really going to worry about this too much. It's starting to pump through uh, hydrogen now. So... You know what? That's good. That works for me. Look at that. Look at like I love I love the slow gradiated. You know where it goes from the pink to blue. It's kind of like yes, we did it. And it seems that there's some liquid build up here and probably across here and here and all over. We'll go ahead and just do some mopping there. Ah. <sighs> There. Uh, we, I guess we can go and start cleaning this up too. The the puddle at the bottom was actually there as, as a form of a uh, of insulation, <laughs> but we don't need it. We don't need water. We don't need it anymore. I don't think because there's no there's nothing down here that's uh, generating any heat anymore. So we can go ahead and swap that up. Look at that. Finally, this, however, is going to stay there because that is a that is helping that room out. And another pit pigs. Let me stop for a second. What are the colors we have that are so they're very similar to each other? We have one, one, two, these two, one, two, three. So what is this then? This is sedimentary rock, wolframite, and aluminum. Those kind of go in order there. Sedimentary rock, wolframite, aluminum. Let's go down to to Boots' room here. Sedimentary rock. Wolframite. Mm, where is that shit at? Obsidian. Is Wolframite one of these triangle ones? Son of a bitch. It's not. Okay. Wolframite. Aluminum. And there's one more, so that's aluminum ore. That's not going to be the same. I wish this thing unfolded. <laughs> like I could see more of it at once. Aluminum. And the last one is going to be... What is this color here? See, da, 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 one, two, three, four. So it goes boom, boom, uh, boom. And then I think probably coal. I think coal would be a good bottom one. Put an extra, put an extra love into your, into your uh, room boots. Really more of an experiment than anything. Okay, this is, this is looking pretty good. Uh, once they finish it up. I don't even have enough chairs for everybody. I should Bruh. probably redo that. Bruh. <laughs> oh, it even... Oh, look at that. There's three of them in the same... Uh, in the same... Message don't... Uh, just triggers at once, huh? Interesting. Interesting. Thank you, Boots. I'll accept that as payment for hooking you up. <laughs> Some three, three cents is all it costs, guys. Free bits. Get your own custom room. 
Let me see. Wow, this is actually, this is a pain on a problem here. I'm not able to eject this stuff fast enough. I think all I'll do is I'll just put a pump and just have it just help, help eject all this stuff out and maybe even, uh, yeah, because this is going to be a problem. Let's build a pump there. Gas pump. 50, somehow. Uh, we'll put it right here on the line. And then we'll dump, uh, we'll put it down further actually, like right here. And what we'll do is we'll just eject this shit into space. Because. Because. As soon as it comes back. There we go. Whoop. No, we'll go this way then. Boop. We can use a regular gas vent. Because I'm fairly certain it's not going to be over pressure anytime soon. Then we'll go ahead and apply some power to this guy. Click. Done. And I guess I'll just have it just like constantly just push whatever gas in here out. Because there's no reason to have any gas in here. And at the rate that these things are operating, it's never going to be a vacuum in this space anyways. So that's totally fine. Oh, this looks good. You know, it actually looks, it's funny, it actually looks a bit like bathroom tile uh, in a sense. But... I wonder if I can, I mean, I, I could make a bathroom tile, just make a subway tile, basically. We could. This is so dumb. I don't know why. Why you guys let me do this shit? Nope. 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 Oh, that's right. That's right. That, that, is, that is correct. I panic a little bit. Need a gray, need a good... Uh, I think we can use more aluminum, actually. Aluminum. And we'll just paint it. Can you paint on top? No, good. It's a lot easier. Yeah. That'll look good. So they're gonna be doing this forever. <laughs> Our next episode is a home away from home improvement. Exactly. Uh, We'll eventually get to all this stuff. Actually, they're actually they're getting to it very quickly here in the middle. Oh, you know why they're not doing this room is because uh, nobody could get in there. Let me go and open that up for everybody, and they'll get started on it. There they go. Click, 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 click. Oh, that's good. Nice little staggered setup there. We're gonna condense these down anyways uh, to give people give more give more seats in there. Put maybe something a couple a couple nice things in it. We got uh, we have eleven dupes, so we're probably gonna add another one here soon. But as a matter of fact, we could have totally afforded us add another one. Uh, the next narcoleptic we'll get, we'll add. Uh, and hammer, I got you. We'll put you in. <sighs> Atmos sensor is twelve hundred. Good. Can't wait to see what that room looks like after they do all that. I wonder why this is taking forever to do. What is the deal here? Is it just low priority? I mean, I've given it tons of chores inside. It is low priority. Okay, okay. I mean, it's not, it's not a, this is not a thing that I necessarily need them to work on, like stat, but I would like them to. Uh, we are going to start expanding north, or north, up, I don't know. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and actually put a couple more jobs here. We'll set it, we'll set it to five, we'll come back and check on it later. Wait a minute. Can they get through this door? No. So, there's no point in doing that. Well, good. We save some, uh, save some plastic. Not that we necessarily need to. I'm gonna have these guys go straight up as far as they could go. Doesn't matter if there's, I mean, I guess anything that comes out of there is just gonna fall into space anyways, somehow. Fall sideways into space. Oh, let's check our temperatures over at here. So this was a project that we were trying to, oh good, it's under two, it's under uh, zero degrees now. Which I think was, I can't remember where we were at last time, but the thermostat in here says zero. So if it's above zero, then it goes green, it's negative four. So I could, should be pumping nothing right now. Yeah. Okay, because this is this is keeping it off. Okay, so this is sending a, this is sending a green signal. This is sending a, um, it. Uh, let's just turn on this actually. It's easier to see. So we have two green signals and a knot. Okay, so this thing a knot. Okay, okay, okay. So that's shutting off the water. Not this guy. But we could go ahead and actually tell this thing to drop down again. Remember, we wanted to step this thing down. 
try to get lower and lower and lower until it's uh, uh at the cost of some sleep wheat of course like we're so what they're not gonna have bread for a bit um but yeah i wanted to to get this give this uh, atn an opportunity to recover and get back down to that negative 270 whatever uh that we were at initially and then we could you know then it'll kick off we have to step it down like every 10 to 10 degrees or so uh it'll get there eventually it's just gonna take forever speaking of taking forever to add another person um do we have narcoleptic nope 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 so i guess we'll take copper really slow learner science start to sparkle eater yeah i guess not that sucks oh it's mima oh sorry mima how many dupes are there does anybody know like how many dupe names are there there's just because i feel like you get to say got a we got uh mima i mean you have like a standard set of names that you constantly say uh, I'm looking forward to start streaming again. I'm just looking for a new laptop to use. Last time I streamed was early 2013. Well, a lot has changed in the streaming world since 2013, my friend. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, a new laptop will do it. I would say, I, I don't know, like, what the, what's the best option, whether it's using a laptop and then streaming through uh, an Elgato device into OBS on the same laptop. I don't know if that's viable or if uh, screen grab is uh, lightweight enough that it could just record the input of the game and that's totally sufficient. I don't know which is, uh, you know, cause I haven't really experimented with streaming on the laptop too much outside of just streaming a video feed and that was easy. Just plugging it right into an Elgato and then letting that uh, take care of it. We have a ton of oxygen buildup over here. Yeah. Is this thing, uh, and as idle erupts? Let's see if this thing actually erupts. Faster. Oh, that is that was faster. My man Omni back in space. Yes. Let's see. Is this thing going to push gas? Poof. That was it. Overpressure. Overpressure. Oh man, so much oxygen. I mean, I guess it's not that big of a deal because we have plenty of water, so I'm not gonna worry about it right now. I feel like these guys are not doing their chores. Y'all gotta do your chores, man. Clean this shit up. Did it in the base, which is fine. Clearly somebody in the base has a priority for that, for cleaning, but nowhere else. All right, the tile work's getting done. Uh, oh, they're done with this. Oh, this is kind of a pink at the bottom. Oh, and it's kind of a green. Oh, no. <laughs> That's not exactly what I was thinking. Uh, I, when I was looking at it up top, it did not look like that. So this one's got a little bit of a pink to it, and this one has a little bit of a, uh, of a green to it. So what, here's what I'll do. I'm going to erase the background buildings of these two, and I'm just going to mirror the top and the bottom. So I'll put sedimentary rock and wolframite. Uh, so suddenly tire rock in the bottom and the wolf from my across the top. This is so dumb. Why are we just spend all this time? This is just <laughs> uh, You really want to get back into playing uh, wow with bro grounds. Oh, man Ah <sighs> Thems was thems was the days huh bloody rogue Yeah, man has it was that really like the last time you played them because bro grounds was like 2013, right? Just going to uh, raise the uh, priority of this Germs comes around from time to time, and I uh, and Kujap, uh, he lives down he lives down south near. You guys remember that that first case of some lady trying to go into a store and the and the the bartender, the ex bartender who was like cleaning carts or whatever, was trying to tell her that oh you can't come in or whatever. Like he was super jolly with it, but she was just like a huge bitch about the whole thing. Uh, so that happened in his in his hometown hometown. And so the second I saw that, I went and I threw that on. Uh, uh, on his Facebook page, and I never use Facebook, but I, I went on just for that, just to show him. He's all like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> He's like, "Well, I guess every city has their Karens." <laughs> but anyway, so I really don't know. Kujap was uh, was the GM for uh, Bro Grounds, Timeless Yet Elegant, Manticora, uh, Crush Ridge Legends. Uh, he was pretty much the guy in charge of. Um, he was my GM through so many guilds, through so many years of, of WoW. Real good guy. Uh, he was a good. He was a good boss too, man. He was a good boss. <laughs> he was good at running things. He wasn't afraid to tell somebody uh, that they're fucking up. <laughs> and then what was that? Wolframite, I think, was the other one.
There we go. That'll look good. You can't even hardly see the background anyways. You remember that, Karen? I know. We've had so many since then. Except when, <laughs> when TYE was all lowercase tie. I uh, know. I think that I think that might have been intentional as well. We always chose the dumbest names. <laughs> it's like that name is stupid. It's perfect. <laughs> okay, cool. So then I can travel over this, go over here. Transit tube. Yeah, let's get it, let's get it. Tom Brady. That's right. Tom Brady. How funny. And that was before he won all those championships. Tom Brady E. Fix finish that. Finish these things, guys. Come on. Let's get let's get this stuff together. Everything's an eight. That's way different from when everything's a nine. Totally different. Let's see, is this, I wonder if this is changing when it's comes away. Is it is it circulating or oh it's dripping, so it is changing. Okay, cool. And then that's that. And then. Oh, our uh, our preserves here, our petroleum preser preserves, our <laughs> reserves, Jesus, uh, it's taking a little bit of a hit. We usually keep this topped off. <gasps> Where's all of our oil? <laughs> what happened to all of our oil? All those <laughs> quick class invades somewhere. Someone needs some freedom somewhere, surely. Holy crap. Um. Okay, there has to be a reason why. Water? No. Is it back pressure 5%? Disabled automation grid. Oh. Oh. Well, we're good now. What happened? That's so... <laughs> oh, oil thief snuck in. Somebody, somebody, somebody. Somebody. I don't know who. Changed my settings. Classic might be. You know what's funny? I built, I, I probably built this hydro sensor thousands. <laughs> or at least a thousand. Um cycles ago because I wanted it to shut this thing off whenever the water got above a certain point so I, I probably messed up and just didn't set it correctly but the whole time it was still operating like maybe we had a threshold that it was just kind of keeping it afloat there so it wasn't really triggering it you know uh or we're not really stopping it and I guess we got to the point where we siphoned enough that it dropped up below that point I never noticed while wow, the oil is gone how long has it been gone for if there's no way we went through this thing that oil that quickly that's funny. Okay, well, I guess our uh, petroleum is going to be fine eventually. You see coal. Oh, that's right. We're converting coal into something else because we have so much coal. And we have, let's see, consumable ore. We still have so much coal. What are we making here, guys? We're making ceramic and refined carbon and, uh, and refined carbon. Just keeping those things baking. Probably lower the, oh, I was going to say lower the priority, but we'll have to. Doing all this so that way we can get some, uh, we can get some more steel. All right. Do we have an archaleptic? No. I feel like they're always giving us some, but not anymore. What the heck? We have some more coming, though. Has the automation been changing randomly on you between play sessions? Didn't you have a power problem or session two or two, or two ago? That was, uh, that was, I set, I set up all of these, um, all this automation here to control different tiers of of power generation uh, set over time. So it'll start triggering from the top to the bottom. You can see here, top to the bottom, it keeps going down. Uh, and the problem was that it was we were draining power so quickly that it never gave an opportunity for the or actually it would drain the batteries all the way before the power could kick on and and resupply it. So we had like these blackouts that were occurring. Uh, and so one of the things I did was I lowered the time of some of the outputs here, some of the filters, so they kick on sooner. And just now, uh, I, right before right at the beginning of the uh, of the stream, I upped this from um, it was at oh you can't see it, uh, it was at 30. I upped it to 50 just to give it more of a buffer, so that way we don't have those uh, those blackouts. So that's all it was. 
I thought that oil cycle was getting too full for COVID. <sighs> How funny. I mean, look at this, though. This is pretty crazy. We're still getting a fair amount just from just, just from a constant stream here. Like, it's almost as if we don't necessarily need all of this crap. These drains. I love these drains, though. They're the best. Okay, so that will eventually run out, though, because uh, we'll probably fill up the canisters first. Oh, they did it. Oh, they're breaking through. Here we go. Here we go. Salts. Mafic rock. Keep on going. I want them to take this thing strikes all the way up. As far up as we could go. Like to space. And then we'll take it even further. Mmm. Yeah. We'll go up until we get to space and then we'll stop. Then I also want to reconnect this business over here. Is this thing actually still erupting? This is gonna take 10 years for it to do what I wanted it to do. I want to have a pool of liquid copper here. <laughs> But that's clearly going to take forever. Forever. So we, what I should do is... Wait, what happened here? Oh, what, do I, the, the, uh, what happened to the tile there? Let's go and connect it. You need to invade some other... Oh, I know what I was going to do. I think I was going to put a transit tube here. That's right. And I never did. I thought the tile had melted. That's what I assumed considering how hot everything is over here. What is it? What are we looking at here? Uh, 4,000 degrees. Forever. That's right. That's right. Killing me, small. Let me see. Uh, I still I still want to get over here, man. I want to get through this oil by. I want to get all this diamond and everything out of the way. I just don't know if I want to approach it from this angle here. I mean, not that it matters, though, does it? It's 200 degrees in here. Does it really matter if it gets... Uh, 30 degrees cooler. Damn. Yeah, that pretty much settles my argument. Let's go ahead and get rid of this. Get rid of this. Go and clear this out. Might as well go ahead and... I don't want to get too close to that. We'll leave that natural there. You know, like I'm all natural. Let them clear all this stuff out. There. And then this should be done soon because they're taking a lot of time to get back here. Is this uh, this game is a builder? It's call yeah, colony manager. There you go. Hey, look at that! It worked. It is now siphoning all the gas out, which could be bad eventually. Like maybe this will start generating too much heat, and because there's no gas to transfer, it's going to uh, eventually just overheat. Yes, that's going to happen. You could see you can see how quickly it's actually building up. It's actually going to happen sooner rather than later. Let's go ahead. <laughs> Uh, let's go and put an atmospheric sensor on this thing. <laughs> Damn it. Ay. Atmospheric sensor, thermo sensor, atmo sensor. We'll just put it right here. We just need we just need to give these things room to breathe, that's all. <sighs> Connect, good. Have to go over here and do this. And then we'll just set it, we'll just turn it off. That way these things don't overheat, because they are they are definitely gonna overheat. You see, overheat temperature is 257. It's only a matter of time. Even the steel stuff will overheat. I mean, what is its top end? Uh, overheat temperature is 527. Yeah, it'll eventually get there. Uh, it's all about finding just how little oxygen Mike can give his dudes without them rioting. You know, that's partially true. <laughs> that is partially true. Yes. I'm not proud of it, but I'm proud of it. Yeah, it works out. <sighs> okay. So, I did say that eventually I want to clear up, or clean up, some of the, um, the pipe situation here, right? And I still do. I still want to clean up some of the pipe situations that's happening here. Uh, and I needed to figure out what I want to do with this space. And I think what I want to do with this space is turn it into another, uh, recreation room. With, because some of the recreation stuff, room stuff is huge, right? I mean, like, we saw that there was, what, there's, uh... The vertical wind tunnel, for example, right? That's what I was thinking. Put like a vertical wind tunnel in here. Um, maybe put a couple other things in here. Like make this, make this kind of a cool little like theme park or something for the dupes. They come in here, they could get their their stress on or out. Uh, mechanical surfboard, stuff like that, right? We have all the means to do that. The sauna we can't do because we don't have any steam anywhere we can pump. I mean, we do, but that seems like a big old bitch. I don't want to do that. 
That is too cold for recreation or make it the, make it hot. Yeah, no, that's, that's the other thing too, right? The air in here is very hot, so we would have to uh, divert some uh, some oxygen into this space. We could do that. I mean, we could do it over time. Honestly, you know, there is not that much oxygen in here compared to the rest of the base. I mean, like, it's kind of even, really. If I were to just basically just pop the cork here, right? Just like pop a hole in this and let that uh, oxygen slowly kind of mix with everything else. Or maybe just pop a couple holes here and just let the oxygen kind of rise up here. Uh, even though it's what? It's, uh, it's 128 degrees. My thermostats here would... Um, would try to counter it. That would be an experiment for sure. But I think it could work. Basically, the heat would rise. It'd go past the thermostats. The thermostats would trigger the uh, trigger the the bypass over here to just allow cold air to come through, uh, and it should cool the cool the room or like basically balance out. But we do want to seal this area over here. Let's go ahead and uh, all see you. Oh god. Right when I clicked on something. Don't move. Okay. Is that nothing? Okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna look around and have like half my base missing. <laughs> okay, good. But yeah, I want to seal this off. So we'll put like insulated tile straight down here. Make it out of obsidian. Just... I think straight down here is probably fine. Except for this thing that needs to go now. Put an insulated door here. Insulated uh, mechanized lock. Perfect right above a power line. It's even better. Conductive wire. There. So now this room will still remain intact. Uh, it's gonna have it'll keep its temperature. It's fine. It's perfect temperature for the pepper pitch of pepper nuts, anyways, which could go up to 185 degrees, so that's good. And then we can start poking holes in this. I should probably move some of these pipes, though. Like, for example, this... Whatever this is. What is happening here? Yeah, what? Yeah, sure, that's the first step. We'll let it drain. They'll drain this here in a second. Before they build that, I'm sure. And then we'll do, we'll do, uh, let me see, we'll do some insulated pipes straight across the ground. Good. And then we'll pull this in to wherever it needs to go. So we'll just build an empty pipe for now. Go ahead and get rid of this, this, and this. And then what we'll do is we'll use this as a bypass for this. This is coming out here. Where's it going? Which way is it going? Yeah, it's coming out. Okay, cool. So we could take this down and jump it. This was all my list of stuff to do. Eventually, you know? The eventually list tomorrow me. You know that guy? Uh, but we're going to tackle some of this now. Then we can cut this here. Snip this. Oh, no, that's going to back everything else up. Ah, uh, you know what? It's probably fine if it backs everything else up for a second. Give it a minute to draw all that stuff out. Tomorrow... <laughs> Hell yeah, past Mike helping out future Mike. Tomorrow Mike has entered the battle. That's right. That's right. We're going to... We're going to... We're here to help. So yeah, even like this whole setup here. This whole setup can go. This, uh, this crap water here, we can pull this across here and bring it in. So what we do is... We'll pull this down here. We can... Oh, this is actually... Oh, look at this. This is not even being used. So we could go and cut all this out. Except for this one. And then what we'll do is we'll put the same valve. What's this valve set to? 7500. Okay, so that's set there for a reason. I think it was just to control the... Uh, uh, to keep that pipe from getting over overloaded. So we'll build that. And then we'll copy the settings once it gets here. And what is coming out of the clean water? So there's this thing to go. Might be a little awkward getting that clean water down to where we need to. We'll have to figure out something, some better way to do that. But at least we could get this started. And we could start draining this water out of this line, which is not going to happen anytime soon. Where is that water going? Ah, okay, okay, because this has to be built. They can reach this. They're just not doing it. Chumps. Do my bidding. 
Do my evil bidding on the internet. <sighs> Let's go. Oh my god, now they're going to sleep. <laughs> now they're going to sleep, new printables. Come on, come on. Someone that sleeps all the time. There it is, right there. Nicola, plus seven machinery. Uh, destructive and overjoyed response. Super productive. I'll take it. Hammer. You're in. Finally. What is that link? Oh, they built it. They built it. Good. Give me a second. Uh, it has free print-to-play versions of their board games. Oh, cool. Good time more. I've, I, I've heard of some of these words. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I know some of these words. We could go ahead. Oh, this is done. This water has all been, all filtered out. Wow. Okay. Then we can... Oh, this is where scaffolding will come in handy. Fuck. So let's go ahead and do this. And we will cut all of this shit out. I don't want to do it. I think if I just put a couple ladders on the ground, probably just plastic ladders, easier, more accessible. Can they reach it from there? Uh, so from here they go one, two, three, four. Yes, they can. Cool. So boom. We'll do this across the board. Nope. Too late. There. That'll take care of all that. Here's that one. There we go. And they can reach almost all that. there. So now that we'll be able to get them clear through all that, we can move all this pipe, we can empty out this room, then we'll start punching holes. We can actually start punching holes now, just to get that air flowing. So we'll do uh, two holes here. Buildings wise, we can get rid of all the buildings here. Uh, actually, first let's make sure this is a priority here to get done. We'll copy these settings over. I could just remember, but... Sellers of Catan? Uh, no, I, I, like I said, I've, he I've heard of this, I've heard of the game, but I've never played it though. I don't- I don't play a lot of board games. Although I try. I've played a couple good ones. Like, really long ones. The real long ones are a lot of fun. But you have to, like, set aside time for that, you know? Okay, this water's going, it's getting chills, good. Oh, interesting! Uh, do we not have accessible Wolframite? To finish the job here? Wolframite, waiting for delivery. Uh, Wallpaper, Wolframite, errands, done. It's okay, so they just haven't gotten to it yet. That's fine. As far as you've uh, heard of Catan, at least, it's one of the classic first real board games people have, I've heard of. Yeah, but I have not. And I've only heard of it because probably because somebody in chat or uh, a buddy, uh, BL Tank and Donna Savannah, they play a lot of board games. So I'm fairly certain they probably mentioned it at some point in time. A whole day, a whole weekend. Yeah, what was, God, what was the name of that game? Twilight Imperium. That the game was so much fun. Um, very long game, but you have to have people committed to playing the game is the problem. Uh, you know, because the game goes on so long that eventually, you know, someone might just kind of throw the whole game away because it's like, eh, I don't feel like playing anymore. So, and they'll just like make stupid decisions or, you know, throw their, throw their friends under the bus or team up with people they're not supposed to and turns into a mess. Hey, what up, dude? What's up? 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 If you can see this out loud. Oh my gosh. Is that a King Ghidorah? Yeah! Yeah! He's huge! Monstrous! Liquid, is that? Ah, water is there. Okay, so stop that. It's just not very high priority. We'll bump it up a little bit. Civ 6 for free is pretty sweet. You know, I got that too. I haven't played that yet, but uh, I know that it's something that's right up my alley. So, uh, considering all the management and whatever kind of games that we play, uh, it kind of feels like a no-brainer. Look at this. Look at this. Is anyone here play Diplomacy? No. That's why I grab and having a good amount of fun. Nice. You know, it's pretty sweet morals. Who's got those? What is that? So what are these? Bleach stone. Oh, nice. 
So, is there any... Wow, look at all this meat. Oh. Refrigerated, sterile atmosphere, 100% fresh. There is so much meat in here. There's so much meat in here. So many nosh beans. Oh. How about in here? Same thing. 8,000 kilocalories. Wow, that's nuts. That's a lot. Barbecue. So much, so much barbecue. I, I guess since it's 100%, it's never gonna... It's like petrified meat. Mmm. Uh, I guess it's just never gonna... Boop! Will you boop? You out! Oh, dude, don't do that! That hurts! No, I'm serious. Don't do that. That hurts. I'm serious. Don't do it. You do it again, I'm gonna kick you out. You don't boop someone's head with your hard-ass head? I'll knock you out with my head. My head is so big. Wah! He doesn't know what knocked out means. No god. <laughs> yep. Uh-huh. Oh, look at you. <laughs> Alright. I want to slide in here and get some of this diamond. And it's iron ore. I guess it's lead too, maybe. So we do have one more person that was added to the group. Twelve. We have twelve. Uh, I don't think we're gonna add another person just yet. Algae. Shall I take algae? Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, ten. So yeah, we do have to redo these these chairs. We'll put them in sets of. Uh, uh, oh, give it a second. Maybe sets of four. <sighs> woo woo! It's <laughs> Godzilla update. They're so fast, it takes- sometimes I wonder, man, how their priorities get like this. Where, like, I, I tell them to do something, and it takes them ten years to do, but then I'm like, hey, take apart this thing, and they're, they all jump on the opportunity. Let me see. Like, instantly. Doesn't even make sense. Uh, let's make it out of gold. Should we? Let me see. I think we have enough gold we can go farm out. Farm, right? Good you can't make it out of diamond. Gold is plus- oh, you know what? Gold and copper is the same. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Mm, copper. And then we'll do it in sets of four. Now, how do I want to do it? I'll start in the middle, and we'll do our four here. So, is this the middle? Is that going to work, actually? Let's do uh, priority one real quick and see. Because they use those tablets. They all hate old things as much as they do new things. One, two, three. And we have, I guess, four. And then we could do a couple gap there, and then we'll do one, two, three, four. And we'll do... Ah, so there is, uh, is lopsided by a bit here. So I think if we do three then, do it in groups of three. One, two, three, click, click. And then one, two, three, click, click. One, two, three, like that. Let's start on the edges. So maybe it'll make a little more sense. And then we'll put some fancy stuff in the middle. Marvel Puzzle Quest, huh? I haven't even seen that. What was I gonna do? Uh, mass table, wap, wap. Let me see. So one, two, three with the one gap. One, two, three, and then one, two, one, two, three, and then we'll start from this side. One, two, one, two, three. And it leaves a three in the middle. Okay, cool. And then we could put something there to make it seem nice. <laughs> make it seem nice. There we go. The little table. It's kind of like school. I have the different tables and everything. So what do we have that's three wide? <laughs> or maybe some kind of, let me see, a painting. That's what we'll put a painting in the middle. That's a good idea. Arrow pots, marble block. How tall is a marble block? Too tall. Uh, landscape canvas. Ah, perfect. And then we could put. Do I could put an ice block in there? Put a small canvas there. A canvas there. We'll put a uh, hanging pot there. Hanging pot here. Put some crown molding across the top. Make it super fancy. Let me see. Where's our crown molding at? Damn. What is it made out of? Sandstone, sure. Can we put it behind this? Shh, maybe? If it's a foreground item, this is a background item. It won't work on- oh, well, paintings are background items too. We'll put... Corner... One corner here. Ah, you can't put it over that. That's fine. That room's gonna be so sexy. Uh, do you actually need a tail for each dupe if you've got a night crew? Yes, you do. They're assigned. They're assigned tables. So, yeah, you do. It's unfortunate, but this is the way it is. Now, let's go ahead and raise the priority of this. We can finish off this room here. How is the, uh... Oh, it's still good. 
we have a me we have mess everywhere. So uh, I'm surprised that we even have any green in any of the common areas because it's just or any, even the private areas too, because it's just such a mess <laughs> all over the damn place.